Perhaps one of the most important problem for us humans is ignorance. This ignorance can be anything. For example, why human life has become shorter and shorter over the centuries. If we take a closer look at what history has recorded since AD, we get this graph. But if we go backward, we will face this one. Two big differences in human lifespan that is border is a global flood. Have you ever wondered why humans get old? Well, the problem here is not being aware of our own existence. Therefore, to find the answer to this question, we must become fully aware of the nature of our existence. So, when we get to know the human building blocks and understand how they work, we will be able to control it. You cannot drive this car properly to work for you for years unless you know what it is made of and how it works. In this video, we gathered modern science and historical evidence to decipher one of the most important human mystery. Earlier in a video called The Nature of Human Existence, we got acquainted with the true nature of human existence. And so everything in this world is affected by vibrations and frequencies. And we saw that our physical bodies are not free from this law. In short, what we know as a physical body is made up of different organs. These organs are made up of tissues. And each tissue is made up of joining millions of cells that are put together according to their structure and function. Well, in fact, our cells play the most fundamental role in shaping human physics. In other words, cells are the basic building blocks of our human body, which are made up of about 20 hundred different types. Examples are red blood cells, skin cells, neurons, or fat cells. Although the cell itself is made up of molecules, atoms and subatomic particles. Now, to be more precise, a human being is made up of about 30 trillion human cells, each with its own structure and function at that number is almost constant. But for different reasons, the cell may die. So, with the death of each cell, a cell division takes place to replace the dead cell with a new cell. Now, these cells die in two different ways. In the first method, the life of the cell ends and it dies. In fact, cells have a specific life cycle. We mentioned earlier that there are about 200 different cell groups in the human body and that the lifespan of each of the 200 cell groups is different. For example, white blood cells live only 13 days, while red blood cells have a lifespan of about 120 days. Hepatocytes can live only 18 months, while brain cells and eye cells survive almost all of human life. In general, the average lifespan of a healthy human is 8 to 10 years. And in the second method. In this method, the cell may die before the end of its life due to damage, which it depends on two different factors, internal factor and external factor. Internal factors are when a cell is damaged from within the body for certain reasons. For example, when a cell is infected by bacteria or viruses. And external factors are when a cell dies due to the wrong environment and lifestyle. For example, exposure to electromagnetic radiation. 
or exposure to dust particles. In both cases, when the cell is damaged, the human body initiates a process called programmed cell death, which is essential to prevent disease. In this case, the infected cell produces a signal. This signal causes phagocytes to find and eat it. Phagocytes are cells that are able to eat and digest dying cells. Cell division is now performed and the new cell replaces the death cell. Well, apparently everything is fine. The damaged cell died and the new cell was replaced. But here is the main problem that leads to aging and death. In fact, what we need to know is that our body has an hour of life called telomere, which is tied to this cell division. Telomeres are the protective caps at the ends of the DNA strands inside the chromosome that house our genome. In a young person, telomeres are about 10,000 nucleotides long. In fact, the length of these telomeres is the lifespan of human. Well, we say that in a young person, telomeres are about 10,000 nucleotides long. But the length of these telomeres are not constant. That is, with each cell division, these telomeres become shorter and shorter. And each time the telomeres shorten, the cell gets older and older until the telomeres reach a critical level. Then the cell division stops, and existing cells lose their ability to function properly. Now, if a cell is damaged, it breaks down with programmed cell death. Now, there is no substitute for that cell. And we said earlier that cells are the basic building blocks of human body. So, we have said that the life cycle of cells in a healthy human body normally lasts between 8 and 10 years. And a normal human cell can be repeated and divided 40 to 60 times. Therefore, it will take about 320 to 600 years for the telomeres to end and the cell division to stop. Now the question is, what has made human life less than 100 years? There is only one obvious answer, and that is external factors. That is the same rhyme lifestyle we have today. This includes many things, from hard physical work to air pollution, processed foods, eating meat, stress, and many other things that exist in our daily life. The result of a study on the effect of stress on the process of telomere shortening in mothers with sick children showed that the mother of sick children experienced a significant reduction in telomere activity, which was equivalent to 9 to 17 years more cellular aging to mothers who had healthy children. Although all external factors have effect on shortening telomeres, all of them are considered to be nothing compared to eating meat. A study of the relationship between telomere length and diet, conducted by Medical University of Lodz showed that a diet rich in red meat can shorten telomere length by up to 10 years after receiving diet data. This means if you stop eating meat right now, you will still have the effects of the wrong diet on your body for the next 10 years. Due to the presence of sharp objects marks on the ancient bones discovered, 
it is thought that human began eating meat prehistoric times. Although this can be caused by other reasons. But we have found another clue to it. Well, let's go back to Noah's flood. First, it cannot be denied that Noah lived and considered the story of the flood a myth. Because not only scientists and geologists today have scientifically confirmed the occurrence of this flood, but also the fossilized remains of his ark also have found on Mount Ararat. And we saw how human life became shorter and shorter after the global flood. That is, human life from dozen years suddenly fell below 600 years. At 600 years old, Shem had the longest lifespan recorded since the flood. Then recorded Iber with 464 years of life. Then Arfaxad with 438 years. And Shelah with 433 years and so on. Until the human lifespan fell below 50 years. What do you think has happened here? Do not forget that understanding this part of his story is very important because apparently the roots of all people today go back to Noah and his wife. Well, if you take a closer look at the Old Testament, which records the story of Noah's flood as well as the creation of intelligent man, we come across some interesting topics. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 29, before the global flood, it is said, Not that, the only food here is seeds and fruits. But right after the flood, we find Genesis chapter 9 verse 3, where God says, From now on, everything that lives and moves about will be food for you. Just as I gave you the green plants, I now give you everything. Note that eating meat starts exactly after the great flood. Now the question is, is it possible that eating meat caused a genetic change? And is it possible for this change to return to the previous state by returning to the original diet? Because modern genetics tells us that a set of human alleles have been filtered. Alleles are a set of genetic codes or genetic information that define a gene. For example, eye color, hair color, blood type, growth, and whatever you are. It's exactly like a full option card, which someone has removed the option. 